This is about five miles from my house. This is the nearest city park. I'd say we got a good bit of rainfall. So this is the biggest rainfall we've had in a couple years. And right here, the island is within an inch or two. Water's starting to come up the island. And where I'm standing is maybe two inches higher than the water level. Same thing with that far bank. Now before we dug the expansion, so if you don't know, we just added all of this that wasn't here before. The clay that we dug from that expansion was used to build the bank up over here. And we raised that bank about two feet. So before, this pond's been here 30, 40 years. When the previous owner bought it, they dug this to collect all the water that used to stand here anyway. But before this was expanded, that was two foot lower. And every time the water got anywhere close to this high, it would wash out the back and wash out the neighbor's driveway. And we are right at the top of the bank, even after it's been raised. Let's look over here. On this side, we are right at the fill point. Now, if it got any higher, I thought it would start going up the swale, but it really won't go any further up the swale. It's that swale within a couple feet of where it's at is already a lot higher than this other bank. So, if we wanted to put an overflow, it would have to go out the back side because we're higher over there and there's nowhere for it to go that way. It would have to overflow the way it was before. And if I put an overflow on that side, I'm not gonna let it wash out the neighbor's driveway. If I put an overflow over here, I'm gonna run it, I'm gonna run a swale or a buried drain line all the way to the road so that when it overflows out my pipe, it washes out to the ditch by the road. Let's go take a look at that new bank on the other side, see how it's holding up. Okay, so from here you can see the pond is completely full. And at some point it's washed out. It's washed across and eroded a little bit of this. And so we've got standing water down here. So the plan has been to cover this with a layer of topsoil. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a trench across right here where it's already flooding. Put in a culvert cover that over then put my topsoil down and that's going to dump water here and I'm going to run that water down to the road. This is the biggest rainfall we've had in the last couple years. This is the highest I've seen the river in a few years and so this sets the bar for what's possible. When we dug this expansion my concern was we wouldn't be able to keep it full and it's been staying pretty full even through the dry season and I wasn't sure if we'd need an overflow, but we definitely, whether it ever overflows or not, we do need an overflow. So what this has done for me is cemented in my mind exactly what I need to do with the overflow out the backside. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'm going to put links over here to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.